Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. Uh, Commissioner Bledsoe, I'm going to ask you to put that on the record, if you don't mind, because what you've heard is exactly right. I would like to put that on the record. Uh, all the legislators I've talked to and, and other affiliates at the legislator, they brag on Chris all the time, and uh, I think he's doing a heck of a job. So. Amen. Not Baptist, but we'll say amen today. Uh, I'm all fooled. Commission recognizes Chairman David Watson, Budget Committee. We have two items there. Thank you, Chairman Watson. I'm here re to request a budget uh, increase in the amount of $30,000. It's all federal money. Uh, we're taking advantage of an appropriation that the city of Gatlinburg has done to increase the amount of education and, and notification to their uh, ordinance on uh, trash cans are supposed to be bear proof in the city of Gatlinburg. We're, we're going to use this money to help them in that education effort and also establish some kind of like a, a clear, no, it's not really a clearinghouse, but a, a work with a nonprofit to set up a uh, a place that businesses could go to to receive uh, what our bare wise information on trying to educate the public on how to keep from having conflicts with the local bear population in the communities around Gatlinburg and the surrounding counties. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I believe the motion was made by uh, Commissioner Swan and seconded by Commissioner McMillan. Uh, is there any further discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Budget expansion of $30,000 for uh, the Bear Human Conflict Management Project is approved. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Watson. Um, I won't get into a big budget discussion, but I, since this is what's on, on the agenda today, I will mention that the uh, agency's current situation is, is kind of summarized as we need to spend less licensed money at the same time that we need to spend more federal money. Uh, we've got a lot of money in the uh, wildlife restoration federal program and hunter education, and we're... Uh, spending a lot of that through land acquisitions and um, finding some partners for shooting ranges. But anyway, back to what's on today's agenda, it's just a couple of relatively small items, one that John had there and one, one that I'm bringing forward, um, $10,000 in this fiscal year plus $10,000 in next fiscal year, a uh, total of $20,000 to go to the Southeastern Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies. <coughs> Uh, all federal money will support a program called Conservation Leaders for Tomorrow, which is a leadership training opportunity that they provide. Any questions? Thank you, Chairman Watson. I have a motion by Commissioner Swan, second by Commissioner Cox. Any further discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Budget expansion of $20,000 for the Conservation Leaders for Tomorrow program is approved. Thank you. Uh, uh, let, me, let me thank the commission. Let me thank the public and staff's patience. This has been a long meeting. This is the first time that we have had the waterfowl season setting in addition to the preview of wildlife. We learned today. We learned that we probably need a two-day meeting, but you've stuck with it. Appreciate it very much. Uh, Director Carter, do you have any comments?
make them short in light of the, t the time you've been here. I just wanted to tell you, I've just returned from the, the opening ribbon cutting event for Breda Corporation, who's moved to Tennessee. Uh, Governor Haslam, and, uh, Senator Corker, Congressman Black, and several other representatives of state and local government and national government were there. It was a really nice event. I think Brett is going to be a big supporter of wildlife programs in Tennessee. And I just want to mention to you, I thought that that went well. Uh, the other thing is I know you acknowledged Barbara Hayes this morning. I, I don't even know if Barbara's in here right now, but I just wanted to follow up on that as well. I just wanted to say publicly for the last time how much I appreciate everything she's done in, in helping me personally, but also the commission in, in putting the meetings together and all those things she's done for the staff. And we'll sorely miss her. So th that's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, Director. Uh, she's been phenomenal. <clears throat> and Danette, we're excited that you get to put up with us now. So uh, it'll be good working with you. Uh, Mr. Holbert, you want to make an announcement this upcoming weekend? I do. Uh, the Paris Fish Fry uh, is next weekend. Uh, beginning on the 23rd, I believe, Wednesday, uh, 12,000 pounds of catfish cooked. So uh, any of you guys that would, we can get to West Tennessee, we'd love to have you down there. Uh, commissioners, I think uh, agency will reimburse you for your trip if you can make it down. Thank you so much, Commissioner Cox. We've got a, the, if I'm not mistaken, the May meeting is a Thursday, Friday meeting. That is correct, sir. I uh, would like to call a retention and recruitment committee meeting at 9 o'clock on Thursday morning, please. Would you all check your calendars, those that are on the committee? Are there any other comments from the commission? Commissioner Watson. Uh, I'd like the budget committee to stay over for just an informal meeting. Thank you, sir. Any other comments? Mr. Gregory. surgery is at home and doing well I just wanted to share that with you and Cheryl who thought you'd make it through all this but by golly you made it thank you for being here anybody else handful of uh, brief comments on my part I'm gonna come back to director Carter director we have the next meeting on May the 12th and 13th and that's going to be where just so that it's it would be at the Gossick Center at the Arnold Engineering Development Center down near Tullahoma. Thank you. Can you ask staff to send an exact address for that so we can get a calendar prepared? Danette, if you would, please send the commission the exact address as to where we're going to be uh, at those facilities. That would be great because there's been some question about that. The other thing I have is we've had some birthdays. Folks are aging up here. They've aged a lot today. Uh, David Watson has had a birthday. Jim Ripley's birthday is today, and I wish he was still here. Uh, Mr. King, Mr. King, do you have something you want to throw up on the screen? Yes. Uh, Just I have give us two, two minutes, folks, and we just have uh, one other. There we go. <laughs> That is Dr. Jeff McMillan <laughs> on the phone as usual, probably telling his wife how to do the remote or something like that. So anyway, next week is Dr. McMillan's birthday. Uh, happy birthday, sir. Thanks, sir. If there are no other comments, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your endurance. Uh, this meeting is considered adjourned. We'll see you in May. <laughs>